DSMS, it's Tati. And Anthony here with your October 24th edition of DSMS TV News. STEM Club, Gaming Club, and Yearbook Club meetings are canceled this week. Don't forget about the Autism Walk on Sunday at Tempe Beach Park at 8.50. And if you can, wear your DSMS t-shirts. Now to a special announcement for Mr. Hummer and Mrs. O'Boyle. Good morning, Desert Shadows. Ms. O'Boyle, did you know that we are currently collecting permission forms for a Castles and Coasters physics-based field trip? I heard something about that. What a neat place to work, That's Desert Shadows, right. where we do amazing things. November 17th. And we really do amazing things in terms of our field trip experiences. Our eighth grade will go to Castles and Coasters. They'll have that opportunity if you get your permission slips and your payment in uh, by the end of next week. We also go to the Renaissance Fair. And then as you know, we also have opportunities um, for Washington, D.C. and um, and California trips too. Yes. We send more students than any other middle school in PV on our trips. We were able to do that because we have teacher chaperones and parent chaperones sometimes who come and support our field trip experiences. But there's also responsibilities uh, for our students. I believe the Desert Shadows is what I call a work hard, play hard school. And that means that we work hard in the classroom, we maintain the expectations of the school, and then we have these rich experiences that are afforded to us to go to outside places. So very soon we'll be sending out a letter to all families outlining the expectation that those students who wish to attend and who sign up to attend field trips, including Castles and Coasters and the Renaissance Fair and Washington DC and the California trips, are expected to follow our behavior expectations. And where we have students who begin to collect a number of detentions or conduct referrals, those students may be put on a contract on a probationary period. Uh, but ultimately, we have to have a trust with all students uh, that they'll do the right thing, not only at school, but especially when we take trips outside of school. If you're put on probation or have a challenge with conduct that we need to talk with you about, you should expect uh, that we will talk with you directly, either Ms. O'Boyle or myself, about your access to these field trip experiences. That's the news on field trips. Mm -hmm. And now, most importantly, let's talk about basketball. Our staff has been training hard. I mean, we are, we are going after it every day after school. Um, late into the night practicing for these uh, great games that we can anticipate tomorrow, 7th grade um, at 11.30. The whole 7th grade is going to be in the gym to watch students versus staff. We play to win, and I think the crowd's going to recognize that, and I expect a lot of cheers and supports for our staff, the home team. In a moment, you'll be able to view the selected students on each team, the 7th graders and the 8th graders. We're going to put them up on the screen for you, so look for your name if you signed up. And for those who were selected, you need to wear appropriate shoes to play in the game. Um, if you want to bring shorts to change into before the game, that's a good idea too. Um, but no amount of gear obviously will make you prepared enough to play against the teachers who are going to dominate. Uh, so with that yep. said, we have a little clip for you of Mr. Hummert practicing yesterday in the gym. Now, here they are, the teams for the student side of the staff versus student game tomorrow and Thursday. Hey, 
It's Sarah with eSports. Next Monday, track and field begins, and all applications and fees are due on Monday as well. <laughs> now back to the anchor. As you know, this week is Red Ribbon Spirit Week to represent staying drug-free. Today is Crazy Sock Day, tomorrow is Slipper Day, and Thursday is Hat Day. We have half days for the next two days and no school on Friday, so see you on Monday. We're, We're back. back! That's all we have for today. And remember to stay classy, DSMS.